After the break, uh, we're taking an exclusive behind the scenes look at Jed Word on tour and they'll be joining me on the couch. Stay with us. Well, we promised you something very special this evening for our last midweek show and our next guests are very special indeed. But before we take a look at them, uh, let's take a look at this. Once upon a time, there lived a people unaware of a high-topped, high-jinxed, high-haired pair living in our midst. Yes, once upon a time, there lived a country unaware of the existence of Jetward. But in the eight short months since the Lucan Locals burst onto our screens on a certain talent show, they've proved they've got a certain X factor. And backstage in the Helix, the twins are preparing for showtime. So guys, as you know, it's a dressing room, but it's not really a dressing room. It's more of like a public museum for everyone to see John ever getting dressed. Jedward Mania, it seems, has taken hold. Hey, guys! The boys have built up a loyal fan base. So before they go on stage, there's something they've got to do. Most fans are excited, but for others, it's just too much. Back inside at a special meet and greet, it's not just emotional teenage girls who idolise the twins. Under pressure, it burns a building down. I just love them. They're just... I went they were knocked out of, of uh, X Factor. I didn't look at the show anymore. I wanted them to win. <laughs> Once they've signed everything in sight and posed for a hundred photos, the two are manhandled off for a Jedward-style rehearsal. Kind of like, yeah, we, we have it's like a huge experiment. Every single night is a different, is a different show. Like, it's never choreographed for like, for like different moments in the show. It's always different. And then it's time for the most important part of the evening. Makeup to put on, clothes to style and hair to spray. With only minutes to go before they go on stage, it's time for a pep talk from manager Louis Walsh. They're living their dream, they're loving everything they're doing. They can't believe they're selling the sell out And then, the moment has come. You've been jettified. Do this. For well over an hour, they backflip and somersault their way through 18 high-energy pop songs. Their fans living happily ever after. Now they've finally landed on planet Jetboard. Um, you guys take your fans so seriously. Fans are so cool. Yeah. Um, any of them your girlfriends or anything like it's that? It's so weird because we know, we, know every, we know every single one of our fans. Like They're so cool because like, like, we, like all the fans in that video, we know each of them because like, we see them like everywhere. And, like, like, all Do our you fans sign recognize every them. autograph every time? It's so weird because it's like you could sign like, loads of autographs then people want their t-shirt signed, their runners yeah, signed. Kind of wait, wait, check it out, guys. Uh -huh. I've got matching socks to go with the Converse to extend the Converse. And I just got like uh -huh. these ones on. But it's kind of crazy because like uh -huh. our fans, they um, like say... I've come out and they want a picture with me, they all want pictures with me, then they all want pictures with Edward, then they want and then pictures together. And so that's so crazy, there's like a huge pile of fans, so John takes half and then I take half, and they're like, but we want one with two of you. And then we're like, oh. Then they want to sign their like, arms, and they want to sign their t-shirts, then they want to sign their tops, so you basically could be there for And then one half. girl, like sometimes you sign them and they're like, don't get it tattooed, because one person actually got a tattoo like, of us signing, and we didn't even sign it good. And they were like, yeah, and these like, girls, they want to sign their wrists and they get and they tattooed. Come, like designs for tattoos, and it's like crazy. <laughs> and then okay, okay, guys, for, for our viewers, the two viewers of the country, who can't tell you apart. Yeah. John and Edward. And and what's John. the difference? What's the difference? Well, well today I wore a striped tie. It's kind of like a little, just like white thing. So for all you viewers, right now, Edward's wearing a striped tie. That's okay. Edward. And John's wearing a black tie. Oh my God, you got name yeah. tags. Just, just so we can Oh my God, it's like as if we're in school. <laughs> we should put on our heads so like, you know what I was... I remember, I remember when we were in school, they used to always give us, you know the stars? And you'd like, teach the teacher give I you know. a star and you'd be like, I'm a good boy. Like, and then it's like, how you didn't get a star? <laughs> It's been eight. I, I, I don't need you to put on your head because yeah. your makeup will come off. Yeah, let's see if there's a patch. You, you guys are pretty oh God. serious. No, no, no. Wax strip. Wax strip. <laughs> wax strip. <laughs> oh, hair. <laughs> so what's the difference? Oh, you have a slightly uh, funny ear, John. Yeah, you? well, basically, <laughs> I got a scar on my nose because I was playing hurling and someone had a hurl and went <laughs> and hit okay. me in the head. On face. camera three, can we? Oh, yeah. On camera thing. three, let's do this. Funny ear. My ear is kind of pointy. You know, it's like an elf ear. So when it comes to Christmas, you know, <laughs> I'm special at that moment. Um, I got like um, my 
a tooth cross over here. Um, I don't know, we just got like different things. Like he can have a mole here. Like he's got, he might have a mole there and I might not have that mole. Or at the moment, he's got a spot here and I don't have a spot. <laughs> I've, been, I've been exfoliating. <laughs> you guys take the beauty machine pretty seriously. I don't know. Is no, it true no, you no, don't no. take milk in your cereal in the morning yeah. because dairy kind of messes with your skin? No, You're laughing at her. I, don't, I, don't like, I just don't like milk. I like having water because like it's kind of cool because in the morning... You could, we had a pre-audition before. We saw Lorraine. We saw, we saw, sorry, Lorraine. <laughs> Colette, okay. We saw Colette, okay, and she had like these really big curlers in her hair. <laughs> no, no, hair, this hair has a lot of volume in it. And I was to say, no, this is what we do, okay? We have um, we we have water in our cereal because you can you can, you can have ice cold water with cereal and it tastes really really good. I know most people think, oh my god, that's so disgusting. Well, in a way, it makes me unique. Unique, like your ear. Uh, can I touch the hair? Is yeah, that of course. Yeah. What's in here? Um, well, at the moment, there was just yeah. my hair. We did this yeah, morning. Very same. There's mousse and there's hairspray and there's some gel. <laughs> mousse, hairspray yeah. and gel. So have you got a deal with any of these um, hair I'm, product companies? Because I know you've got deals with everyone. I think, do we? I think it's kind of crazy because at the moment, like nobody's come approached us like about hair deals or so anything. So we we're like just thinking of making our like, own hair range. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think we should. Uh, tell me about the Shake and Vac ad, because I know we have a clip. I tell you what, we'll have a look at the, um, the Shake and Vac clip first, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Have a look at this. 